My name is Lisa Daniels. This is my son, Jamie. Where do I begin about my son? As a young child, just full of life, happy, bouncing around, protective, loyal. He was a spitfire of a kid. Um, very bright, went through high school with no issue, and went to university. You have a feeling when a kid goes off to college, we just didn't know the extent to which that he was having fun. He was determined to uh, get into a particular fraternity. And what we found out after was part of the hazing in the fraternity was giving them drugs. We don't know exactly when he turned to opioids, but we do know they were easily obtainable on campus. And by the time he graduated, he couldn't stop. And that summer of after graduation in 2015, he went into his first rehab in Michigan. You could see the difference. But before long, his brain told him he wanted more opioids. He relapsed within about two to three weeks after. It was the shame and the, the stigma that we tried to hide as a family. I watched him try to detox himself several times. Drug addicts don't want to be drug addicts. We finally found help from a psychologist in Michigan who, at Jamie's lowest point, recommended he move to an inpatient treatment center in Florida. Jamie got caught up in something that none of us knew about. In a nutshell, it is patient brokering. With Jamie, the doctor they sent him to, a self-described addiction specialist, put Jamie on new medication for his anxiety. In other words, Jamie was set up to fail. On December 7th, just four days after being prescribed these medications, Jamie ingested heroin laced with fentanyl. Since Jamie had been clean for seven months, that pill shocked his heart and eventually killed him. This kid right here. The opioid crisis devastated our family. And through Jamie's passing, when I go out and I talk about this beautiful boy right here, and I have more parents coming up to me and saying, my son's going through this, my daughter's going through this, my parents are going through this. We have to work this out and we have to do it immediately. We have to stop talking and start acting.